Hey, 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 good looking. I am so glad that you came to my kitchen today to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing on in my kitchen so we can get cooking. Good looking. Hey there, good looking. I had you at Snickers, didn't I? I knew it all along. Well, with Easter upon us, and maybe y'all are looking for a nice dessert, you know, to sit there and pass around at your family doings or church social or whatever you may have to sit there and bring a dish to pass. Let's go through the list of ingredients, but now when you're watching me make it, I'm only going to be making half of the Snickers caramel apple cheesecake salad. Okay, so you're going to be needing two Granny Smith apples and two Gala apples. Go ahead, cut them all up into bite size pieces. And I soak mine in some water with citric acid. That way they do not brown. Next, you're going to be needing at least one fourth cup of the caramel sauce. You're going to be needing two packages of the cream cheese. And then you're going to be needing one cup of the French vanilla creamer. And last but not least, you're going to be needing 20 of these fun size Snicker candy bars or if you don't want to go the fun size route, go ahead and buy three of the king size Snicker candy bars. Just be sure to cut them all up into bite sized pieces. All right, I brought my mixer down. We have our bowl that we're going to serve it all in. Now I'm going to grab the cream cheese and I'm going to put it down inside the mixing bowl. Now remember, I'm making half of the recipe. I'm putting in a half cup of the French uh, vanilla creamer. Now, a word of advice when we are adding the French vanilla coffee creamer, you're going to want to add a little bit at a time. But first, before I add any of the French vanilla creamer, we're just going to sit there and soften up the cream cheese, kind of get it ready for the party that's coming. And like I say, We're going to add a little bit at a time. Let that mix in. Just keep adding until it's all added into the cream cheese mixture. Okay, I added it all. And now we're just going to whip this up for two minutes. While we're waiting for that to get so nice and smooth and whipped up, go ahead, open up the fun size snack bars, and you can sit there and cut them up into bite sized pieces, just as I have done the apple. Now, as you see, I'm just simply quartering. Up the little snicker bars. Ooh, is that looking good? Let's take you down and give you a good close eye on that. Okay, now I have my apples back here. I have my apples sitting in some citric acid. That way they don't brown. 
and I just wanted to hand off that tip to you. So now I'm just going to drain off all the water in these and put them back in the bowl. I'm going to put our transfer, all the cream cheese mixture, into my serving dish as well. Okay, I'm going to sit there and remove the paddle. I'm just going to sit there and give it a quick scrape. And then toss it into the sink. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it tastes good. I mean, who would have thought? So, and if my arm's in the way of the camera, folks, I do apologize. I am working around the camera as I am trying to show this recipe. Oh no, my voice is gone. No. No, 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 no. We gotta make this fast because my voice is going and when my voice starts to go, it goes fast. Um. I've been suffering some health problems with my breathing and everything, and I've been having some respiratory problems. But it's normal for asthmatics. So, if you've been noticing that in some of my videos, I apologize. I'm going to sit there and we're going to grab these snicker bars. I'm going to mix some inside of the whole salad. We're going to save some for garnish. I mean, if you want to sit there and cut up the other two apples and add it to this, you're more welcome. And then all that's left, I'll just leave that there. You put the rest of these on top. Here, I gotta remove that. I just can't. It's bugging me that it's still there. Okay, I added all the Snickers on top. Let's give you a look. Oh my goodness. And we're not done yet. We're going to sit there and take some of the caramel sauce. And you knows it. We're going to drizzle it all over the top. So, let's drizzle. Oh, yeah. And give it a good drizzle. Come on. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, my goodness. Now, go ahead. Put that in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. Now, wasn't that easy to make? I mean, come on. And who wouldn't love a Snickers caramel apple cheesecake salad this Easter season? You know you're going to be the hit of Easter when you come walking in through the door with this Snickers caramel apple cheesecake salad. 
Be the rock star of your family this Easter. Happy Easter! Now, if you truly liked how simple and easy this recipe was, please give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe today. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. If you're not yet a subscriber, go up, tap that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that little bell, that way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And here's to happy cooking, but better yet, happy eating. Y'all come back now, you hear?